My name is Helene Russell. I am an Associate Professor of Theology, and I've been teaching at Christian Theological Seminary since 2002. One of the joys of, the of teaching is to help people become aware of things that they believe that they don't know they believe, and to help them think both uh, in terms of uncovering what those things are, but also to be critical and to be able to articulate what it is they believe about what's really important. I mean, teaching theology is really fun because I get to help people think about and learn what they already know, as well as fall in love with that which they don't know. Well, some people, when I was growing up, people would talk about being systematic theologians or being philosophical theologians, and neither of those quite fit my understanding. I think of myself as a constructive theologian, because I think theology is not really about the past. The theologian needs to know a path, the past in, sen in the sense of what the tradition has thought, what the tradition has valued, how the tradition has told the stories of what's valuable, how the tradition has told who God is, and how who God is impacts who we are as people. But theology is not about knowing, simply knowing what the past has said. It's about how we think about it now in our current context. And those contexts change. There's some of the context that say the some of the context says the same in the sense that we're all human. We've got doubts, we've got people we care about, we've got things that matter to us. We have death we have to deal with, we have illness and suffering. But the way that we answer those questions and the way that people have found uh, meaningful solutions or responses or ways of responding to those questions changes and shifts. And that's what theology is about. So I think of myself as a constructive theologian. The church is about creating communities of nurture and transformation in the world. The purpose of the church is not actually the purpose of the church. The purpose of the church is God's purpose for the church. Studying theology, learning theology helps people learn how to Note that there are different contexts and different types of churches and different needs, and to think reflectively about the practices of ministry is an important interface so that I see the relationship between church and the academy as being a dialectical relationship between practice and reflection and reflection and practice, that theology is actually one expression of faith. It's doing faith. And ministry is also an expression of faith. And to be able to do ministry and then reflect upon it helps you be better prepared for the next time a situation comes up. Um, what I've been working on recently is a yoga and spirituality program. It's a innovative approach to yoga and to spirituality. Of course, you think yoga. Hmm, some Christians think that's not Christian. A lot of people are practicing yoga and they're not thinking about it in relation to spirituality. On the other hand, there are a lot of folks that are actually finding that their yoga practice is their spirituality, but they don't have a community or they haven't reflected upon how it relates, to how this embodied spirituality that they're experiencing individually relates to either their, their tradition, a heritage in their culture, or other people in the world. Yoga and Spirituality at CTS is a program that can be a yoga teacher training. So that means that if you want to be a yoga teacher and you want to emphasize the elements of yoga that are spiritual, the spiritual elements of the practice and of meditation, this is a perfect place to come. It couldn't be helpful for a person who wants to be a pastor also. Maybe they'd like to become a yoga teacher as well because that adds another tool for them. It adds another tool to engage with people in the community that maybe aren't in the church or are unchurched or have been um, had a negative experience with church and don't come back to church now, here's a way in which they can engage with people 
that um, ordinarily wouldn't be somebody that would come into the church. So along with the yoga program, I'm working on a book on evil. Uh, this is a book that's being uh, published through the Homebrewed Christianity series uh, with Trip Fuller and Tony Jones. And I'm excited about it. What it is, it's trying to talk about some of the theological questions and issues that um, what they call theological nerds are talking about. So how do we talk about these things in, in language that people that are interested in the questions but maybe don't know theodicy and ontological uh, and don't necessarily want to talk about those using those terms but they still want to talk about the questions and the issues. I mean, why is there evil? Why do bad things happen to good people? What do we do about it? The theological or philosophical problem, the thing that is unexplainable, is not that there is evil in the world or that bad things happen. It's that good things happen. That in spite of all of the pain and suffering and anger and com competition for survival, and they're still good. There's still people that bond together, that give up things, that sacrifice that which is better for themselves individually for the sake of their, their fellow sister person, for the sake of the earth, for the sake of people they don't even know, because it's the right thing to do. I mean, so that's one of the, the focuses I'm going to have in the, in the book. One of the things that I think is really great about CTS is the faculty and the way that the faculty gets along with each other. Here we have a focus on pastor, pastoral practices and ministerial practices. And those practices are uh, not simply tools or simply uh, skills that we learn, but rather they are expressions of ministry. They're expressions of what does it mean to be a person formed in Christian faith and how does that formation then show itself or be, get, get played out in actions in practices, and, and practices are not merely actions. Practices like in the yoga are habits that we have been intentional about, that we, we think about what would be a good way of doing, of being in the world and creating a habit of thinking, a habit of action, a habit of responding. And so we develop practices, self-consciously intentional practices. We're deliberative practices.